Okay, let's talk about managing network interfaces. Specifically, we want to look at IP addresses. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to issue the command IP, get over here, IP address show. And that'll show me my current IP address. And right here, you'll see I've got the loopback interface, so that's LO colon, and then ETH0 colon. And then down here, you're going to see I have an internet address or INET address on this interface. Here I do too, it's just my local loopback address. All right, so that lets me look at my address settings. I can also use the command ifconfig to look at that as well. And now it's Ethernet 0, here's my IPv6, or before address, v6 address. And here's all my IP address and information. Now, to change this information, in this version of Ubuntu, version 18.4, we have a um, tool called NetPlan. And so we're going to start by finding our NetPlan config file. So the command for that is ls etc netplan. And we're going to find, we've got a file here named 50-cloud-int.yaml. So to change my IP address information, I have to edit that file. So I'm just going to sudo su so I stop forgetting to do it. Give myself root access. And then I'm going to nano etc netplan. And then I need to specify that name. 50-cloud-init.yaml. Now, a YAML file, these things are extremely precise. They're very, very picky on what they will allow you to do. So, um, here's my configuration, and I have to make sure that I get my indentation just right, or this is not going to work. So, I'm going to change DHCP4, so that's DHCPv4, to false. I could also do DHCP6 if I wanted to use DHCPv6. Now, I can't tab over, it won't take tabs. So I'm going to space over and I'm going to type addresses and I'm going to give this thing an address of 10.1.1.4 slash 24 and you use the slash notation not a regular subnet mask and that's addresses colon. Alright, so that sets my IP address and my subnet mask. Space over again. I'm going to specify my gateway address. Gateway, colon, and I'm going to do 10.1. Oops, number lock was off. 10.1.1.1. And then space back over, and I'm going to set my name servers. Colon, and then space back over, and this time I'm going to go two more spaces underneath it, and I'm going to type addresses, colon. Now I can put multiple addresses here. I'll do 10.1.1.2, comma, and let's do one of Google's 8.8.8.8, and then close. Okay, so that sets. DHCP is off, give me an IP address and a subnet mask, a gateway, and a couple of DNS servers. So now I need to save the file, control O to write out, and then control X to exit. Now to get it to take effect, I'm going to issue the command netplan apply. And it doesn't like my gateway error ne de network definition. Unknown command gateway or unknown key gateway. So let's nano forward slash etc. Actually, I'm just going to up arrow this thing. All right, um, and it doesn't like our gateway command, so it doesn't like our gateway command because we need to specify the version. It's gateway for v4, so I'm going to change that to gateway 4. That it should take. I just completely missed that. Control O, Control X. And then netplan apply. Okay, that took effect. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen.
if I can type correctly. And then I am going to do IP address show to show our IP address information and there is our current addressing information. Okay, now to reset it back to, this is how we set a static address, to reset it back to DHCP, we go back to net plan, there we go, edit our file and we're going to change DHCPv4 to true. And then I'm just going to take the rest of this, all of these other lines, and I'm going to remove them using Control K to cut text. All right, right out, exit, net plan, apply, and show I. Uh, give this wrong way. IP address show. And we're back to using our um, IP address from our DHCP server. Alright, if I want to see what my DNS servers are. So, I, if I set my DNS servers manually, then that's easy to see. But here, I need to find my DNS servers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command system dash resolve and then I want to look at status and this will show me the status of my resolver system let me get that right system resolve status all right system d dash resolve dash dash status. There we go. Alright, now this gives me all of my information including a whole bunch of global information and then down here are my DNS servers. I can also view just my DNS servers by doing systemd dash resolve dash dash status and I'm going to grab DNS backslash servers. And that will show me the first line of my DNS servers. Now, notice that's only showing me the first one. Um, I could do grab DNS, and it's going to show me all my lines with DNS, but again, my DNS server is only going to show me the first one. Uh, so to view all of them, and the reason grab doesn't pick up these other two is because these other two don't have DNS on that line. Remember, uh, we're dealing with text information here. So the best way if I want to see all of them is system system dash D resolve status. And it will give me a lot of other stuff that I don't need, but specifically on my link, it will show me my DNS servers. Okay, so we have set an IP address statically, we have reverted back to DHCP, and we've showed how to find your DNS resolver information.